Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, you're tuning in to DraftingTutorials.com. Uh, my name is Casey Kepley. In today's video, I'm going to be covering the uh, Properties Palette. Now, this is really beneficial when you're dealing with uh, lines on, say, like a title block. So I'm, I'm switching over here to Layout. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times, what will end up happening is that you will you'll find yourself trying to print out and plot to a certain scale in your layouts and sometimes like if you're using the uh, hidden line up here on line type uh, according to your scale sometimes the hidden line won't show up as a hidden line so you won't see the little dash marks like you're seeing up here um, they won't appear on your layout when you go to uh, print your your drawing and the reason why is because of the scale size um, one way to fix that is through the properties palette and I'm just using that as an example real quick for you um, to kind of to kind of show you how important and how um, you can utilize the properties palette on objects uh, so that you know you can you can basically change a lot of different things and it comes in really handy uh, so I highlighted the line here so just to show you real quick how to get there you're gonna highlight your object and it could be anything I mean it could be text it can be uh, an object line but you right click and you're gonna go down to properties and what this does is it opens up the uh, properties palette okay now this properties palette uh, gives you options on line weight so that you can change the width of the line um, and its thickness. Um, you can also change the uh, line type scale. You can change the line type itself to hidden, dashed, or continuous, or whatever you might want. Um, so those are some of the options that you have. Now, these options will vary depending on what kind of objects you're choosing. Um, so let me back out of that real quick and see if I could show you a different example here so if I select stairs and then this is text okay but it deals with the same thing so you've got property palettes for objects such as lines circles um, text dimensions um, so this is for text and you get something really similar and now you'll you'll notice in text though that you can adjust the text height. Uh, you can you can rotate it. Uh, there's defined width, defined height. Now we'll just see what uh, dimensions properties palette has. So see on on dimensions, you can adjust the lines and arrows. You can um, you can change the the dim style to a different uh, dimension style if you would like. And when you do that, it, it adjusts everything, everything from text height to um, the type of arrows that you're using. You know, if you're using architectural tick or if you're using actual, like the decimal arrows, it'll allow you to, you know, adjust the arrow size. So you have a lot of different options with the uh, properties palette. And the, like I said, this comes in really handy when you're trying to adjust things. In that example I gave you earlier, with the uh, the hidden line, you know, and and maybe it doesn't show up as hidden or in dashed lines according to your scale. Uh, if you want it to show up on your layout for when you get ready to print, a lot of times all you have to do is just go to your properties palette and adjust uh, things such as the uh, the line type scale or um, you know adjust the thickness or even change you know the the type of line that you're using so that's the properties palette uh, that's all I have for today um, hope you guys are having a good one and I will talk to you soon